I'm going to refer to the, the family hubs, but I want to preface my remarks by just commending the, the council staff who work in the, the housing section because I don't know how they do it. Uh, year upon year, proposal after proposal have been handed down by national government, Fine Gael and Labour, now Fine Gael and a bunch of independents, that just make no sense. They, they actually don't. They slashed the construction budget for social housing by over 80% over the last uh, number of years since 2008. Uh, and now they come along with proposal after proposal. That really and truly, like, I, I don't know how you do it. You, you keep a straight face and you go about in such a professional manner to try to do your best for the people of Dublin City. Uh, but these proposals, we have to call a halt to them. We are institutionalising uh, a whole generation of people, particularly of young people. We're moving them from one type of emergency accommodation to another. And it kind of hits me the odd time when I look at some of the places where these family ho uh, hubs uh, are going to be located. Hyde Park up in Grace Park, that was a former Magdalene Laundry here. Uh, you know, it, it just kind of strikes me that somehow these people are being punished. The vast majority of families that I know over the last number of years since I became a councillor became homeless via a direct increase, a demand from a landlord uh, for a rental increase of like three, four hundred euro. Most people I know can't afford such a steep increase in the rent and they became homeless that way, no other way. Uh, the acute uh, lack of supply of affordable and social housing is causing such a crisis in this country, it's not funny. But what this family hall proposal does, it, it sends a clear message that the government are not interested in resolving the homelessness crisis and in increasing the, the supply of housing. They're merely interested in managing it. They don't want to take the radical uh, measures to actually intervene in the property market, increase the supply, because that will interfere with vested interests and their ability to make money. We have to reject this proposal. I also have fears over the costing of this family hope proposal. Has a cost benefit analysis uh, been carried out? And why would we not acquire houses and begin actually building houses? Thank you.